Hello everyone, this is MD Tech here with another tutorial. Today I will be showing how to repair Windows 10 using the automatic repair tool. Why you would want to use a tool like this is if you were in a situation where you were unable to boot up Windows, perhaps due to common driver errors, uh, Windows update failures, um, corrupt registry files or keys, that kind of problem and that is when you would probably want to do the first step of trying to repair your computer and using the automatic repair tool is normally the first place you would go to. So let's start. Head down to the start button on the bottom left hand side of the screen there. Click on that and now click on settings. Now underneath the settings window head over to the update and recovery button click on that now on the left hand side here click on the recovery tab it should be the third one down now the third option go under advanced startup now you want to click on restart now to launch the advanced startup process the computer is restarting right now All right, so now we get to choose an option here. Um, we're gonna click on Troubleshoot. Under Troubleshoot, go over to Advanced Options. Under Advanced Options, click on Startup Repair. This will fix problems to keep Windows from booting. So right now we are preparing the automatic repair, which like we just clicked on, can be found underneath the Startup Repair button. So that is what launches the automatic repair, so there's not actually a button that says automatic repair. Um, now we get a prompt here saying choose an account to continue from. We're going to select our user account that we're trying to log into, which is test machine on my personal computer. It'll be different for everyone's computer. Now you want to enter the password for your computer right now. After we are finished logging in, Windows will begin to check for errors that have been impeding the startup of our computer. Now we see a startup repair notification here saying that it can now repair our PC. That is because there were no errors that were preventing us from starting up. And there's actually a log file sent to this location in the Windows directory. Now it's very important that if you are getting this error and you are still having problems booting up your computer, try navigating over to this log file. Using the recovery console you could look up this log file and that might be able to give you a better idea of what is preventing your computer from starting up. However, if you're a less savvy computer user, you can go under Advanced Options. And if you click on Troubleshoot, you do have other options here. You could refresh your PC, which will remove some applications. You could try to reset your PC, which will restore it basically back to factory installation settings. And if you go under Advanced Settings here, you could do a System Restore to restore back to a previous restore point built that you made in Windows, typically which is done during Windows Update installations. You can also restore it back to a system image if you have one saved on a disk. You could also open up a command prompt for other troubleshooting assistance. And you could also change startup settings. So this is pretty much it here though. I mean, ho hopefully automatic repair will help repair your Windows startup on your computer. And you can always explore other options if that doesn't work. Hope this video helped you guys out and see you in the next one. Bye.